Ministers, public authorities, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all of you. Thank you so much to all of you for deciding to come to participate at this international event. We're in a special moment in history, I think, because in the future, just around the corner of that future, we're going to see significant changes, and we need to be prepared for them. And to be so, it really is vital to adapt, to be adaptable. And it's this adaptability that uh, characterizes vocational education and training in the Basque country. Our ability to change is what means that we have to permanently be able to adapt. Vocational training has proven with what it's done that it's ready to change and to continuously improve. I'd like to highlight three characteristics which perhaps define Basque vocational education and training. Firstly, training people with a comprehensive view. Encourage close ties with companies and the employability of people and an open to the global stage and the international market. In that sense, Basque VET is dynamic. It follows a model that's able to adapt effectively to the new reality of our productive fabric. Changes are going to mean that we have a very different social model. Changes that are very, very relevant are occurring. There's restructuring of the labor market, progress in technological innovations, automation of productive processes, new forms of organization and management, swift transformation of techniques and equipment. And of course, it's logical that productive sectors need changes, need to see changes in vocational education and training. And this is the challenge, and this is actually the meaning that's behind this international conference that allows us to exchange experiences and carry on improving. We need to improve everything that we do. And to do so, we need to evolve. And in vocational education and training, we find proof of this. He's repeating just what he said in Spanish once again. In Basque, comprehensive training for people looking towards the international market and training and VET in the Basque country is immersed in a model of continuous improving and is immersed in the competitive uh, world of today. The European Commission has just said that in 2020, only 15% of workers will be able to find unskilled jobs. If we transfer that figure to the Basque country, this figure, this figure actually will not be able to be more than 10% in the Basque country here. It can be no more than 10% of jobs that will be for unskilled labor. That means that 90% of uh, jobs will require either skilled or very highly skilled people. And that makes VET very important for the Basque country to be able to respond to this challenge, this need for highly skilled professionals. Our VET is a very practical and is very closely related to companies, very closely tied to companies. That's the model to follow. What's more, we have a dual model, and this is an example for many other people. And this dual VET is something that actually now is uh, moving on to university uh, training as well. And VET is becoming strategic. It's had, it has a strategic importance for competitiveness and the progress of our productive fabric and the employability of people because it's these people that are going to open the new innovative channels that we need in the future thanks to their knowledge, their creativity and their talent. The best source of change and innovation is the person who thinks. And so instead of taking a reactive way of doing things, what VET does is it anticipates. It's ahead of what's happening and it concentrates its efforts on the need to work differently with different challenges and different targets. 
working with a different kind of organization, with a modern uh, view of the future, and a way of doing things differently, model that is based on collaborative and cooperative work, cooperation between people and organizations, and above all, between different VET schools and private companies. It's vital that this collaboration increases if we're going to create dynamic systems that prosper in an unchanging world and that guarantee that training, qualification, productive sectors and the labor market all progress together along the appropriate path in a coordinated fashion. VET is a part of the cutting-edge response to this challenge. Last week, we announced the first 22 university qualifications that will be in a dual system. It's true that there are different nuances to university and VET training, but undoubtedly, the course and the result of dual VT has become a benchmark to be able to take this uh, new step forward. VT has developed a practical uh, training model which is uh, linked to companies and has opened an exemplary path. And we need to carry on looking towards the future. This year, we will be approving the fifth strategic plan of vocational education and training with a view of transforming VET and adapting it to the fourth industrial revolution. VET is ahead of needs. It knows how to adapt to those needs. It knows how to change and knows how to reinvent itself. And we work in very complex situations that require effective solutions. And for that, we need the best professionals. And we make a tremendous effort in that sense. We also make a great deal of effort to attract women, to attract women into industry, into the industrial sector. And that you can see from the coordinated uh, effort that's being made between the Education Department and the Economic and Infrastructure Development Department, something that we've seen thanks to both ministers of these departments speaking. VET wants to head off the future. It is adapted to the digital revolution. It's changing. It's trying to also respond to the increasing inclusion of women, especially in the industrial field. The Basque government will be uh, passing this year its fifth VET training plan, a strategic plan which aims to change VET so as to respond to the fourth industrial revolution leading digitalization, driving forward dual training, and advancing and in incorporating women into industry, all together create one single goal that this country has. Yes, this international event, I really do hope you find extremely interesting. And we also hope that you enjoy, you stay here. Although the weather isn't so groovy, Please do enjoy the San, San Sebastian and the Basque Country. Thank you.